Over the next few days, Cherwell will be interviewing candidates from around Oxford. I'll be talking to the candidates from Oxford West and Abingdon. With me today is Larry Sanders of the Green Party. Thanks for speaking to me today. Thank you. Um, so, this is one of the most marginal seats in the country, according to some predictions. And last five years ago, the Conservatives won by only 0.3% of the vote. Some people have said that the Green Party came out with these leaflets saying, um, you know, vote Green here, it's a safe, it's a safe Labour seat, or a safe Lib Dem seat. Uh, but then the Lib Dems ended up losing. I mean, do you see it as the Greens' responsibility to help? <laughs> well, I don't know what was in the last time's uh, leaflets. I, I'm puzzled by the interest in the, in the debate. You had two parties in government. I think it was a dreadful government. If you think it was a good government, you should vote for the governing parties. Uh, that, what, that now, after having voted together 99%, they're in vicious combat. I think it's, it's a sad sign of, uh, of the stupidity they anticipate the voters will have. So you're not worried that the Greens will keep the, Tory, keep the Tories in power? The Greens will not keep the Tories in power. If the Tories are, we have a system now in which the very, very small number of rich people are running the country. The Tories are their best allies. The Lib Dems will go with anybody that allows them to put a suit on in front of the cameras. And the Green Party is, is talk, trying to talk about the issues that face the country. Um, it's not a short haul. I think that it's my personal view and partly the Green Party view is we're heading for disasters at every front. Uh, so the Green Party has a role and our role is to try to see the to tell people how we see the world in a way that they're not getting from anybody else. Really one of the major criticisms that's leveled at the Green Party is that um, you know, yes there are a lot of nice policies that will um, that are intended to do the right thing, you know, distribute income from top brackets to the bottom mm. bracket, yeah. but that they've been done in a sort of unrealistic and over ambitious way and that it's asking too much to well, uh, take so much money from the top and bottom, like it, it, all this restructuring is just not going to work and it's going to cost lots of well, money. Well I, I think that very rich people might well say that. The amounts involved are not enormous. The, the, the growth in the wealth of the top 1%, I mean, I, I forget this, the, almost every day you come across this, this which is, astonishes you. I saw something the other week uh, where the top 1,000 uh, wealth holders saw their wealth double from 300 odd billion to 600 odd billion since the last election. 300 billion pounds, finished with the deficit, finished with austerity and so on. We're calling for 2% tax on people who have wealth of over three million pounds. If you will leave the country because you're only left with 98% of three million pounds, well, I can use something very odd about you. No, they're modest. They're very modest. They get us back towards, not all, towards, at the average, but towards the average of the European countries. But then you've got something like sort of the 60p tax rate. Do you think people <clears throat> might resent paying you know, giving 60% of their earnings to... Well, it's government. their earnings over 150,000, so, yeah. so it leaves them a little pocket money to start with. But, uh, yeah, why why not resent it? That, that's all right, but you, if you want to be part of a society and you have people who are hungry, you have this... In this county, 300 people will die because of the cold this winter, mostly elderly people. In, in, in Scandinavian countries, which have real winters, there's a, a couple of dozen surplus deaths in the winter. The, re, the, the, the resultants, the, the consequences of, of leaving the money to go, in, and it's not merely what, where we're at now, it's the direction that we're moving in, are, are enormous. I think most people with, with a lot of money understand they want to be part of a society. Uh, many, some don't. That's not a big problem to me.